this video, we're going to talk about connecting your Mac laptop to a sixth generation smart classroom. First, the first thing that you're going to have to do with a sixth generation Mark classroom is to turn on the projector. In the sixth generation, that is done with the remote. Uh, you need to point it towards the projector, hold it down, you'll hear that little beep, and it takes about 10 to 15 seconds for the lamp to warm up. As it warms up, it'll get brighter on the screen here, and you're going to see a message that says HDMI input. If for whatever reason it does not say HDMI when it warms up, you do need to press the number six on the remote. It is clearly labeled HDMI. When you are in HDMI mode, everything else is controlled from the HDMI switcher that is located in your lectern. Now we're ready to connect your Mac laptop. For that, you're going to have to have a dongle because you have to utilize our VGA output cord. So depending on which input you want to use, either the mini display or if you have an HDMI uh, to VGA dongle, you can use either one. If you don't have one, you can check one out from Technology Services until you can get one purchased. So here, I'm going to use the mini display and plug that in and then connect to the VGA. Now you're connected. Now we just need to check the source. Here it is set, the, the HDMI selector is on dock cam. We need to select laptop. Next, a little troubleshooting on output. For your Mac, if you come to your system preferences, all right, when your system preferences come up, you're going to locate the displays. Here, change the tab arrangement, and the next thing you want to look for is mirror displays. As soon as that is checked, you should have a mirror display on the projector. Next, let's talk about volume. If you're going to be playing any kind of video or audio from your laptop, you need to first make an adjustment on the laptop down to at least 50% and no more than 50% on your volume. After you have that adjusted, then you can utilize the volume controls for the system, which are located somewhere on the wall. Uh, if you start at three, that's where you're gonna to start to hear it, and then you can slowly adjust the volume to meet your needs. Okay, now that you're finished utilizing the projector, it's time to turn it off. But let me be impressed that if you are not done with it, do not turn off the projector until you're absolutely sure you are finished utilizing the projector for the remainder of your lecture. This is because turning it on and off, not only does it take a long time, but it's tremendous strain on the lamp itself and reduces its life considerably. So, you're finished with your projector use. You just press the off button from the remote. You will hear a beep. It will ask you a question, are you sure? You say, yeah, I'm ready. And press it the off a second time, and you'll hear the system start cooling down. We appreciate your cooperation on that, and if you have any questions, contact Technology Services.